We are so focused on this life. Look at to-do list. Everybody these days has to-do list, young or old. We need to be organized. Alhamdulillah, where is Allah in the list? Where is Allah in this? What number? If even he, he is on the list. We are so attached, focused on this dunya. This needs to change.
Look how huge this pill is. This is even focusing. There we go. I know it might look like small, but it's very huge. Plenty of hijabs. All of these are hijabs and to be honest, I only wear like two or three out of all of them on a daily basis. So I have to like completely get rid of most of them. So
Guys, I'm vlogging from my phone, but I just came to my granny's because they will be, I mean, my uncles will be leaving to Kazakhstan tonight, so came here to say goodbye. I might stay here for the rest of the night until like probably 10 p.m. Look at the moon, you guys. It's so pretty. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Oh. Wait a second, I forgot something. This thing is a lifesaver. We live on, like, by the street, so. Okay, the power of my mic is low, so I have to charge it in a bit. Where should I keep it? Is this okay? Is my voice coming? Wait, does it look good? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنحتدي لولا أن هدانا الله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته First of all, I'd like to share that my prayers and my heart goes out to all the innocent victims in Palestine it is completely heartbreaking and, and just terrifying to see all those videos and just the incident, the devastating incident happening in Palestine right now. It completely breaks my heart. And may Allah grant them ease, patience, peace and success. And I stand with Palestine. This Tafakkur session, it's also going to be random again. Um, actually, I feel like my Tafakkur sessions are usually random. I don't have like a specific topic. Uh, but today, I'm not even like using my laptop because usually I take down like some notes on my laptop while having like a contemplation session. But right now, I just like wanted to just talk suddenly out of my heart. So um, yeah, earlier today when I was having lunch, uh, well, actually after my lunch, I was like still sitting on the dining table about to like kind of clean up the mess in the kitchen. And I suddenly started thinking about Allah's mercy. So I guess today's Safakur will be about Allah. It will be about His mercy. And what a beautiful topic this is. I feel like we all, well, not, I'm not going to say all, but most of us Muslims, we kind of underestimate the mercy of Allah, which also leads for us to underestimate His power as well. And I'm sure it's it's not our intention to underestimate his mercy. You know, we are humans and and we have evil whispers as well. So what I'm trying to say is sometimes we literally forget how merciful Allah is. I mean, yes, 
every day we constantly say Bismillah, 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 Rahman, Rahim, right? For example, when out, when we are standing up for prayer, we go like Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. When I literally started this tafakkur recession, I went like Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. Yes, like every day we do like recite that Allah is the most gracious, He's the most compassionate, the most merciful. But do we actually like completely 100% believe in the fact that He is the most merciful? You might be like, okay, so why are you saying this? Well, it's because I am sure whoever watching this video right now, um, I'm sure you have some kind of problem in your life or problems in your life because everyone in this world goes through hardship. It is a rule of this life. And maybe you have an anxiety, maybe you're very worried. It might be about an exam result, it might be about a work that you just applied to, it might be about like something else, maybe a family issue, personal matter, but you're worried about it, right? I mean, maybe it's even your future, you're worried about it, which is normal, I can get it, I can understand that. But what I'm trying to say is, there is no need to worry at all. Because if you are worrying about something in your life, it kind of means that unintentionally you are doubting Allah's mercy. Because we all know at the end of the day that Allah is seven times more merciful than our own mother or anyone who we think that is really merciful towards us. Allah is seven times more merciful than that person to you. So imagine His mercy. But still, we worry about the future or about whatever problem we are dealing with. Right? Which is normal, again, which is very normal. But it's we don't need to worry because Allah is the most merciful. He will take care of it. He will take care of whatever you're worrying about right now. So that's why I want to give a little example, okay? Let's say there is a human. Uh, I'm going to go with she, but don't get me wrong. I'm not like, uh, no offense to girls, basically, <laughs> um, females. So let's say that there's a human and she is a non-believer, uh, but she has goals. She is passionate about a lot in her life. She wants to be a successful person, uh, yet kind and you know, polite basically. But also, she has a lot of dreams. She wants to get, get she wants to get into her dream university. Uh, she wants to have a good life and blah blah blah. And Allah takes care of her every day, like every day. Allah provides her with food, with shelter. Uh, with everything she wants and at the end of the day she she gets into her warm bed and she sleeps and wakes up to another morning she opens her eyes to a new day like right Allah is taking care of her and she's a non-believer and we on the other hand we are believers we literally make dua for him every day Ya Allah please protect me from all kinds of harms and and help me achieve my dreams and always guide me to the right path right so what I'm trying to say is if Allah protects that non-believer and always provides him or her and makes him or her dream come true and just takes care of that person's future, then what makes you think that he will not take care of you? What makes you think that he will not take care of your future? In fact, you actually believe in him. So he loves you even more because you believe in the fact that he is real. He's the only one God. But that human, that non-believer doesn't believe, but still Allah takes care of him or her, right? So. What I'm trying to say is don't worry, Allah is taking care of you because He loves you. Another example is animals. Animals, they don't worry at all because why? They know that they have a creator, a creator who always provides them no matter what, a creator who will always take care of them and will look after them. Allah is our creator and He is the most merciful towards us. We know that we are more valuable than an animal in His sight. So. Why are we worrying about our future or about our problem? I know it's hard because I'm going through a similar situation. I'm going through a problem in my own personal life in which I can't do anything. Like I literally can't do anything about it. If I could, I would do my best and leave it, leave the rest to Allah. But I can't. Like I cannot do like a single thing. So it means that I completely have to leave it under the control of Allah and have like a hundred percent faith that He will take care of it and everything will be fine. It's hard, it's difficult, patience is very hard. Maybe that's why those who are patient always gets the best result. So don't worry, 
if you can do anything regarding your own matter, uh, then do the best you can and then leave the rest to Allah. But if you can't, if there's nothing to do, it means it's even better. It means that Allah wants to do the whole work by Himself. All you need to do is just, you know, leave the work to Him and trust in Him. That's it. That's even easier. You don't need to get tired. You don't need to get exhausted. Because why? All, all you have to do is just leave it under the control of Allah. If you, if you can do anything, then do it. Do the best you can and leave it to Allah. But if you can't do anything, that's even better. So, yeah, um, wow, this topic session was very random. But it's because I, maybe I'm telling this to you because I want to hear the same words. We all know that overthinking, worrying, and anxiety, all of these negative emotions only come from shaitan, right? So... That itself is the only reason why we should actually believe in Allah's mercy. He loves you so much. And how can your creator hate you? Like even if you don't believe in him, he will keep loving you. Because he made you, he created you. I know you're kind of like stressing out yourself, but don't do that. You know, calm down. Your brain is probably like, oh my God, I'm so done with this girl or this boy. Like she or he should just rest bro like i'm done right so please at least for your own brain for your own heart for your own body relax chill have a day off and always be grateful because right now i feel like the biggest lesson we can take from the issue going on in palestine right now is to never take the little blessings for granted never ever right now i have this water Oh my god, I used to take it for granted in the past, but now whenever I, you know, remind myself to drink water, I'm like, Husna, you have to drink water. Husna, this is such a big blessing right now for you. Don't take it for granted. Or like whenever I'm going to bed, I'm like, Husna, you should be very grateful that you have a warm bed. Focus more on your blessings and worry less about whatever that is causing you stress or causing you worry. And just leave it to Allah. Please, for once, actually believe, like 100% believe in His mercy. Me as well, Husna. Please, please believe in Allah's mercy. Please, <laughs> because I really need to right now. So yeah, I hope this topic session was good. <laughs> I really needed to say this out loud, these advices that I just gave you in this topic session. I really needed to hear all of these and just say all of these out loud. And now that I finally shared it with you, I feel relieved. And I also kind of feel motivated, like, yes, Allah will take care of my issue because He is my protector, He is my provider, He is my lover, and He is the most merciful. I hope this Tafak session also made you feel well. Um, I hope it motivated you. I hope that now after the Tafak session, even if it's for like 10 to 15 minutes, you will go and just sit away from all the online internet whatever technological device you have just stay away from all those and just sit close your eyes and do tafakkur contemplation just contemplate about allah about yourself in order to find allah you first have to find your own self so do that it's not hard face with yourself comfort yourself you are more precious than you can ever imagine to Allah okay yes I know you can do it everything will be fine everything will be great at the end of the day and Palestine will be free inshallah I have hope so you also better have hope and Palestinians they also have hope that's why they're still surviving and fighting so you do the same okay and don't forget to make dua for our Palestinian brothers and sisters so yeah, that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know for the past couple of weeks, I uh, was not uploading any videos on YouTube. It's because I was at my sister's, I was dealing with other issues. And then now we're going through, we are going through a very devastating time. But yeah, um, take care. May Allah bless you and protect you. See you in the next one, inshallah. Ma'asalam. Bye.